Happy Flossmas, everyone. Happy Flossmas Day, too. My name is Carrie, and this is Tiger Lily Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today for my little Flossmas adventure this December. I'm super excited. If you're returning from day one, thanks so much for coming back. I've met so, I've been so excited reading all the comments and meeting so many great stitchers. We're going to talk about that a little later on. Oh my gosh, I was overwhelmed. But thanks so much for joining me. Um, if, you're, if you just found me, this is day number two. So go back and check out day number one. We've got a little bit of housekeeping to check up with how the month is going to go along because we're just going to dig right in today. Um, so, as we did yesterday, we started with the Kitchen Stitcher Advent, day number two. So let's see, it's a little tiny. Um, are you one of those people that feels your presence or shakes your presence at Christmas time just to kind of guess before you do it? I'm gonna say I'm one of those people. This is a hard, hard, I'm guessing like a wooden thing. Maybe it's one of those floss, they're not floss drops. Let's, let's just see. <gasps> yes, one of these. Oh my goodness. All right, yep. Yeah. Let me show you first. And then I got to put on my glasses so I can see what the heck we're looking at. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. There's no, I don't know what it is. But it's a beautiful sampler and it's a great size. Darn it. I was supposed to have a measuring tape here today, wasn't I? Um, I don't know, maybe two and a half by four. Bigger than a business card, but not too big. Nice four hand hugs. Good and sturdy. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. How exciting that was. All right. So we're going to dig right in to the featured designer today. And... Um, Let's, let's just dig right in and see who we've got. Who's day number two? Day number two is, okay, the Etsy shop. Okay, so it's so cute. Okay, so this designer's name is Emily Call, and um, she is a mom of five, bless her, um, and in Salt Lake City, Utah. And she uh, says she has a very supportive husband, which is great. Yay, husband. Um, so she's got five kids and the last set is a set of twins. And so one of them, the reason I'm telling you the story, she told me this story so I could tell you the story. Um, she's a set of twins, five kids. Woo, and then the last one is a set of twins. So the set of twins are, one is dark hair and dark complexion and the other one is light hair and light, light complexion, okay? So what does that mean? So that means she called her company, which I love the background story of it, Salt and Pepper Stitching. Isn't that adorable? So they call her, they call them Salt and Pepper Twins. And so she has named her company Salt and Pepper Stitching. And so again, remember all the Etsy shops are gonna be linked below. So she is an Etsy designer. She's got an Etsy, she's got an Instagram. She's super adorable. Um, and the pattern that I'm featuring, the pattern that I had to get to share with you guys, hold on. Let me, I don't want to show you the pattern. So I had her send me a picture of the pattern. Um, Cause when you get the download PDF, it's just like, get on it, got to, got to start to stitch in. But oh my goodness, is that not the cutest little guy? The pattern name is Jolly Old Elf. And the stitch size is 80 by 100. And so on a 14 count, it's going to finish 5.7 by 7.1. That's what the finish size is gonna be if you do it on 14 count. Okay, so you can see she has it yummy. It's like on this nice linen. She doesn't tell you what it's um, stitched on, the model is stitched on, but it's a nice gray, neutrally, it's linen. I can't do linen, can't see the darn thing. But I put my own little Tiger Lily twist on it. And of course I've left the flosses. Mm -hmm. somewhere else. I put it on pink. Let's see, does that help? Oh my goodness, I had to put him on this hand-dyed piece of um, 14K Ada because once I saw him, he reminded me, like he's the little brother of this gender, Brenda Gervais Santa that of course I had to put on a 
piece of Tiger Lily pink. So I put this cutie on pink too, and I think he's just going to pop. I wish I had had time. Remember, I'm going to try to stitch about an hour a night. So that's just an hour of stitching. It might be a little more, I'll be honest with you, because I, I just got sucked in. But it's about an hour of stitching so far. So he's stitching up pretty quick. I wish I had gotten time to get more of the white and the red in so he could pop a little bit more off the pink for you. But either way, this pattern is adorable. Okay, and so what I did is I brought my iPad over because it was hard for me to choose which one of her patterns I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so... Remember, oh, sorry for the ring light. Let's see, that's not gonna work very well. But that's the one, right? Oh, I mean, come on, look, look at that. Like I said, it was hard for me to choose which one I wanted to get because I kind of I kind of want them all. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to go and grab them. But, so she's got those three and so she draws them. This was her love of drawing that she just turned into cross stitch. And I think she's doing a bang up job. Way to go, Emily. I love your stuff. Keep on going. So that is um, Emily. And uh, I, I had the floss. I think I'm using all the called for floss. She has a nice, um, it's only, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. And it's really like, pull from your stash. It's red and green, two shades of greens, whites, a skin tone, and you're good to go. Um, so these are all like, print out the PDF and you know you've got a red and a green and all those things. And if you, get get your Santa stitching today. So that is today's pattern of the day. So what I wanted to show you guys, okay, so this morning, I got a message from my sweet friend, Amanda. She owns a company called Star, let me, I don't want to, it's Starlight Stitching Co. And she reached out to me and said, oh my gosh, love your floss too. Love your, love your floss mitts. Thank you so much. And um, I want to give away, I want to be part of your giveaway for your viewers. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Which is perfect because let me tell you how, so I have, 15 patterns kitted right now. And obviously a lot of them have white and black and I'm not going and needles and scissors. And so what I want to show you guys what I do, um, because I don't put my B5200 or my 310 in every single one of my patterns because there's 15 patterns. I didn't buy 15 skeins of that. What I do is I keep it in her. She didn't even know that I was using um, her clutch her cross stitch clutch as my like anchor for this floss miss adventure so what does that mean so this is her cross miss her cross stitch clutch that she has designed it's an original pattern that she designed her name is amanda starlight stitching company i will link her shop below so if you sew if you're an adventurous sewer you can actually just, she sells the pattern for you to use for yourself. Um, or if you don't sew, no problem. She sells finished clutches for you to grow and grab one. Um, so <clears throat> what I have been using this for is, so let me tell you, this is what it is. I forget the size. I'm thinking it's eight by 10, eight by five when it's folded. <clears throat> I put my whites and my blacks in this. So in the front of this, so in the front, it's got a nice vinyl pouch and I've got my 5200, that is my white white that I'm using. And then I have a silks for you, like a winter white that I'm using. And then, you're like, I can't see Carrie. So that's the front, right? Behind it is a secret little flap. It's not secret, but it's to keep your floss separate, keep them safe. And that is where I have my scissors, as well as one of those fantastic needle cases from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, that way, because, I, I mean, listen, have you heard the Pat Carson needles are like on, I don't even know where they go, but they're not available. So I can't keep a needle in each one of those bags either. So I just keep my needle, I sew it and stitch it. That's why there was a loose thread on that, because I keep my needles all in here ready to go in my little handy dandy, I always have it, clutch. So I have the white and the, the snow white. The 310 is actually sitting over there on my on my stitching chair because it was, um, 
I was working on it last night. So that's why it didn't make it back into the bag before I knew I was gonna show you guys this today. Um, and then on the inside, so, so that's the outside. And then you open this up and it's got a nice felt batting type pad and you can just keep your, your, your loose threads, the ones that, you know, you don't use the whole thing, but you want to keep it, it's good enough to keep. Or you can, if you don't have one of those needle cases um, to keep a lot of needles, you can just put a couple right here. She's got this little needle felt tab. It's adorable. And so, and that you just snap it together and it's ready to go. So this is like my ride or die clutch that I'm using all month long. And so Amanda has generously um, donated a grand prize for the end of the Flossmas. So remember, there's going to be, oh, don't forget, Carrie, let's remember. So remember, um, Emily is going to be giving away one of those PDFs of that fabulous, jolly um elf pattern super adorable and so we want to use the word jolly so in your comment use the word jolly and then also tell me <clears throat> one of your favorite christmas traditions that you know makes you jolly whether it's hanging out the tree pulling out the thing doing the lights going to see the lights making watching a christmas movie whatever what what's your family's favorite um holiday tradition that makes you jolly um please so share down in the comments below and remember all the winners are going to get pulled on the 25th so you got plenty of time to enter if you're not watching this on the on day december 2nd don't worry there's still time to enter into the giveaway to win that free pdf pattern um so this one we're going to do a grand prize and i'm still working like i said this just happened this morning like 15 minutes ago. So I'm still working out how I'm going to make this part of the grand prize. I'm still noodling. But the point of the story is, is you're going to need to watch all 24 episodes to enter into the grand prize. So in an email, in your notes, whatever, keep track of the date. So remember, yesterday was candy and today is jolly. And I'm going to need you to send me all 24 words so that, that you watched all 24 videos and to enter you into the grand prize. And we'll figure out, as we go along, we'll figure out how it's gonna work, but I'm super excited. I think the grand prize is gonna get bigger. I think a tiger lily, maybe some fabric, maybe some tiger, maybe a tiger lily project bag. Hmm. I've got some floss coming, some hand dyed silk floss coming. I might just make this grand prize really grand, but we've got a whole month to figure it out. So stay tuned, but go check out Amanda's shop if you need yourself a clutch. I know she just released on the first. She does a drop on the first um, and the 15th of the month, but I think there's still a couple left if you go quick. Um, so third segment, let me just share. So I had a segment, I had a, um, an idea. But you know what? You guys changed my mind because yesterday was so fabulous. So remember yesterday, the word was candy and I said, R -r -r tell me your favorite candy. Okay, well, let me just tell you, don't watch this if you're hungry. Don't watch this if you got a sweet tooth, just stop now. Don't, don't really stop. But, oh my goodness, all day yesterday, I'm reading all these comments and I'm like, oh, I want some of that, I want some of that. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good, oh my gosh. Okay, so instead, so today's Tiger Lily share is we're gonna come up with something new. So I wanted to show you, mm -hmm. see this paper, this written paper, sorry for the glare. This written paper, these are all the fabulous, yummy sweets that you guys shared with me. Peppermint patties, super popular. Shakes, Disneyland candy canes, lit white peppermints, peppermint kisses. Okay, so hold up, before I read you all these, the point of the story is what I've decided is that we need to have a tiger lily recipe share. That's that it's gonna be called like a floss miss cookbook. I don't even know what we're gonna call it yet. Tiger floss miss recipe share. Floss miss, what should we call it? Tell me about we need to we need to catch a little thing for it. But the point is, is that I want you guys, okay, because I want all these recipes. There are some like, um, I need that recipe, Carol, Sue, Joan, I need it. So I think we should, if I need it, you guys need it too. So what I'm gonna do, down below is my email. It's carrie at tigerlilyshop.com, okay? And if so if you have a recipe, if you told me a recipe yesterday and you're excited and you your family loves it and your neighbors love it and your best friend loves it, we need, we need to love it too. And I wanna make all the things. And so I want you to share me there. If you're willing, if you're willing to share your grandmother's secret 
super, super secret pie recipe. Thank you so much. Um, send it to me um, in an email format. And so between now and the 10th, December 10th, I'm going to, don't, I'm not going to fancy format. Don't expect anything fancy. Um, copy, paste, put it all in the same font, put a little header, you know, peppermint pie. Thanks to, you know, Susie or whatever, however you want me to recognize you, please put that in the email. And I'm going to just make a little recipe book, pop it into Word, save it as a PDF, and then I'm going to share it for you guys. So it'll be a PDF download on my website. But I need you to submit me the recipes by the 10th. So if you have a recipe that is like the cat's pajamas and we need it in our holiday life, share it, please. Um, so I'm going to put all those together. And then on December 10th, that's when I'm going to put it together. So sometime that weekend, no, it comes home that weekend. Um, we, I will share with everyone. Uh, of course, I'll let you know on the Vlossmas video when it's all ready and live for you to go to my website and download the PDF so we can all be baking these yummy things together. Okay, so back to, let, let me, so you can be excited with me. Chocolate covered cherry treats, Christmas crack. I've never heard of Christmas crack, but I need it. Buckeyes, peanut butter cups, chocolate covered cinnamon bears, Pecan pie, peach pie, apple pie, coconut pie, almond apricot shortbread, yum, ribbon candy, peanut brittle, Russian tea cakes, chocolate cookies with peppermint extract, butter tarts with cherries, butterscotch haystacks, a German pie called Kuchen. It's spelled like kitchen, but with an U. I don't, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but yum. Who doesn't love a pie? She says it makes the whole house smell good, so... We all need that. I mean, bonus, it's a treat and it smells good. Divinity, raspberry thumbprints, pretzel rollo candles, misty mints, and peppermint bark. I mean, gingerbread fudge, lots of fudge, lots of sugar cookies. Oh, the eggnog pie. My son Noah is an eggnog junkie, so I definitely need this one, please. Um, so I'm super excited. Uh, I feel like I say that 27 times per episode, but you know what? That's just how I roll. So um, if you have a recipe, and if you didn't watch yesterday's, but you have a recipe, share. So email down below, please. And I will share with all of you what everyone shares with me. I'm super excited for this little Flossmas recipe share. We're going to have to come up with a catchy name. We've got, we've got eight days to do it. Okay, guys. So that is day two. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're going to have a great day. Get some stitches in and I'll see you tomorrow.